features that we got happening in Keybase 5. Uh, let's see, what are we going to start with, Greg? Very audio. Okay, very audio. It's built into the Keybase sample editor. Uh, now we can open up an audio track, a monophonic audio track, a vocal line, whatever you want to have, analyze that vocal line, and uh, play around with it. So here we just analyze this track here. You can see some of the stuff we've got running. And, uh, okay, let's hear what we've got. These are our vocal lines, we can see what the pitch is, we can see what the vibrato is, and now we can adjust that pitch, we can change the timing. So we've got a completely real-time pitch changing analysis for a vocal direction. We can do that, of course, chromatically. pitch quantize an entire section. So we can add a, a defined amount of pitch quantize. And we can just straighten up the whole thing as well if we want to. So you can see that we're just taking some of the vibrato out in real time. This is built into Cubis. It's not another application. It's not a plugin. It's in the sample editor directly. All we got to do is double click on that audio part. It comes up right away. Good to go. So you can do any kind of vocal correction you want to do directly inside the sample editor. Alright. We also have uh, a, a pitch correction plugin. We do real time pitch correction plugin. Um, we want to bring that up. Here we go. Here's a real time pitch correction. We can set up what kind of scale we want. We can set up what we want female or male voices and all that. And it will just do all of that in real time straight into the plugin. So if you don't want to go into the sample editor and move everything around individually, you just insert the plugin and you're done. Really easy, really quick, very simple. It's the way you like to have it. So you've got the choice of having it straight away in a plugin, real time, or you can go into the sample editor and tweak every little tiny part of it that you want to have. All right. So what else have we got? Reverence, okay. This is a wonderful thing. Reverence is our new reverb. It's a convolution reverb. That is, it's basically a sampling reverb. And uh, we have over 70 presets built into Reverence. It's a VST3 plugin. So we can pick a preset here that's by small hall. You can see that is the, the sample of the hall we're going to be dealing with. There's a picture that shows what we got. We can browse through different things. Let's take a yeah, martial arts stadium, a Viennese hall, wooden church, whatever you want to have. And uh, we can even get information on where that original sample was taken. You can, if you want your sound to be inside, you know, a New York ballroom, there we have it. If we click on the information box, you'll see that, um, whoops, up here, in the middle there, Greg. Yeah, I'll click it. Just uh, hit that one. There we go. Now we can see what that is. It's a grand ballroom located in New York City. The entire floor is carpeted. You get a powerful low frequency reverb. It will describe exactly what that room is and it will sound like you're playing in that room. Now, uh, like I said, we have about 70 different presets. You can also time scale the reverb. So you, don't, you can actually extend the reverb sound or narrow it a little bit. Um, you can, uh, here we go, we can just time scale that a little bit. And you'll see that the reverb tail gets longer and shorter. You can also import your own impulses. So if you have impulses you've taken a favorite room, you can even get impulses from other reverb units, you can import those directly in there, and it's good to go. It sounds beautiful. It's a really, really, really good reverb. It's as good as anything I have ever used, and I've used a lot of reverbs. Uh, it's also, because it's VST3, it's surround. It's a full convolution surround reverb. And again, it's not an external plugin. It's built into Cubis. It's right there. You don't have to go out and buy something else. It's a wonderful thing. Great, great plugin. So we love that. That is a wonderful thing. Right, so what else we got? Inner instruments. Oh yeah, Groove Agent 1. It uh, looks like an MPC. 
feels like an MPC, works like an MPC, I'll even read MPC signs. It's a new sampling drum machine built in the Keybase. We get a bunch of pans here. We have a load of different presets you can load inside it. You can drag an audio track straight onto it. You can slice up an audio track, drag it under the drum machine, and we'll put each slice on a different pad. So it will create drum machines out of an audio track. Um, very editable. We can edit the cutoff and the cue from every drum we've got. It's really good. It's very well. Excellent drum machine. And the presets coming with it, the samples we have come with it, really, really good quality sampling quality. I love it. Really good. Okay. What else have we got then? Uh, oh, let's uh, let's have the look mash. All right. Um, this Christmas, this is the toy that Santa brought me, and it's one of the greatest toys ever. I love this thing. It's called Look Match. It's an eight-channel look player. Big deal, right? Eight-channel look player. How can that be so cool? It's deceptively simple. What it will do, it will slice up any loop I put into it, and then using a very sophisticated AI algorithm, it will play back those loops and create new sound for them. You see these faders here? These are not volume controls. What those faders do is they tell Cubis to play more or less slices of that particular track. So I can take slices from one track, slices from another track, slices from another track, and it will play parts of each slice, different slices, and create new loops out of the loops I have in there. It's easier to play. I can take an order to explain it, or you spend 30 seconds on it, and it's fabulous. And you can hear, we're creating new fluid loops all the time. It makes loop creation, rather than being a static thing, you just play back a basic loop, you can actually, in real time, create all new loops as you're working. It's a wonderful, wonderful part. I love it. We can also uh, put presets on these pads and then just trigger different presets by clicking on the pads. So we can easily build up a song we can perform in real time just using a bunch of loops. There's, uh, each channel has its own output in the QBS mixer, so we have eight stereo outputs in the mixer. So each loop can have its own effect, can have its own EQ. You can use, change all of those in real time as well as the loops themselves. Um, let's go to the edit map for a second. We go in here, we can uh, this is just the edit one. Yeah, there we go. We can change the number of voices per track. We can uh, also, we can random slice select, which I love to do. If we turn on that random theater there, the artificial intelligence will actually start playing parts of the loop out of sequence. So you can create entirely new bass lines, entirely new rhythms in a very clever and very, very simple way. Great, great plug.